Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Tonight we're diving into the fascinating world of semiconductors. Those tiny little things? Yes, those minuscule marvels of technology. They're in your phone, your car, even your toaster. You might not see them, but they're everywhere. They're like the unsung heroes of the tech world, quietly powering everything we rely on daily. But here's the kicker. China wants to dominate this market. They're not just interested, they're determined. They're investing billions, folks. Billions. Imagine the scale of this ambition. Think of it like this. Remember when everyone wanted beanie babies? It was a craze, a phenomenon. China's trying to become the tie warner of semiconductors, aiming to be the top player. They want to control the supply, the ha. Demand the whole shebang. It's a massive strategic play. But here's the thing. It's not as simple as just building a few factories. It's a complex, multi-layered challenge. There are secret companies, hidden players, and a whole lot of intrigue. Intrigue? You should be. This is high-stakes drama. This is a story of global ambition, technological espionage, and enough plot twists to make your head spin. It's like a tech thriller. So buckle up, grab your thinking caps, and get ready to explore the shadowy world of China's secret semiconductor giants. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Let's go on this exciting journey together. For years, we've associated semiconductors with places like Silicon Valley. It's in the name, right? But China's been playing the long game, quietly building up its own semiconductor industry. Think of it as a giant game of risk. While everyone else was fighting over Europe and Australia, China was quietly amassing armies in Southeast Asia. And now they're ready to make their move. These aren't your average run-of-the-mill companies, though. We're talking about companies so secretive, they make the CIA look like an open book. They operate in the shadows, developing cutting-edge technology that could reshape the entire tech landscape. Now, when you think of Chinese tech giants, names like Huawei and Alibaba probably come to mind. These companies have become synonymous with innovation and technological prowess, dominating various sectors from telecommunications to e-commerce, and yeah, they're big players. Their influence is undeniable, shaping not just the Chinese market, but also making waves globally. But in the world of semiconductors, there's one company that stands out as the public face of China's ambitions, SMIKE, the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. This company is at the forefront of China's push to become self-reliant in chip manufacturing. Think of SMIKE as the poster child for China's chip ambitions. They are not just a company. They represent a national strategy to reduce dependency on foreign technology. They're the ones making headlines, attracting investment, and generally making the most noise. Their growth and advancements are closely watched by industry experts and investors alike. But behind the scenes, there's a whole network of lesser-known companies doing the real heavy lifting. These companies are crucial to the ecosystem, providing the necessary support and innovation. These companies are developing the technology, designing the chips, and creating the software that powers these semiconductors. Their work is essential for the advancements we see in the industry and generally laying the groundwork for China's semiconductor dominance. They are the unsung heroes, working tirelessly to ensure that China can compete on the global stage. They may not be household names, but trust me, they're the ones to watch. Their innovations and contributions are setting the stage for the future of technology, making them key players in this high-stakes game. One of these hidden players is High Silicon, a subsidiary of Huawei. They're responsible for designing some of the most advanced chips in the world, powering Huawei smartphones and other devices. Remember when Huawei was banned from using Google services? Well, High Silicon was their secret weapon, allowing them to keep making top-of-the-line phones even without Google's help. Then there's YMTC, or YangTC, or Yangtze Semri Technologies Corp. They specialize in memory chips, those little storage units that keep your computer humming along. They're like the librarians of the tech world, quietly organizing and storing all the information that makes our digital lives possible. The Yangtze's memory juggernaut. 
YMTC has been on a tier lately, making significant strides in the semiconductor industry. They have been developing cutting-edge memory chips that rival those of established giants like Samsung and Micron, pushing the boundaries of technology. They're like the new kid on the block who shows up at the schoolyard and starts dunking on everyone, making a name for themselves in a highly competitive field. But here's the thing about YMTC. They're not just catching up to the competition, they're threatening to overtake them with their relentless innovation and strategic planning. They're investing heavily in research and development, building new factories, and expanding their capabilities at an unprecedented rate. This aggressive expansion is not just about keeping up, it's about setting new standards in the global memory market. YMTC is making all the right moves to become a major player, positioning themselves as a formidable force in the industry. This rapid rise has made the US and its allies a little nervous, to say the least. They're used to calling the shots in the semiconductor industry, maintaining a dominant position for decades, and they don't like the idea of China muscling in on their turf, challenging their supremacy. Which brings us to the next chapter in this saga. The US trade restrictions, a significant development that could reshape the landscape of the global semiconductor industry. Navigating the US trade restrictions. The US has thrown everything but the kitchen sink at China's semiconductor industry, slapping tariffs on Chinese goods, blacklisting Chinese companies, and generally making it as difficult as possible for them to do business. I think of it like a game of whack-a-mole. Every time, China pops its head up with a new technological breakthrough, the US smacks it down with another round of sanctions. But China's not backing down. They're finding ways to circumvent the restrictions, developing their own technologies, and generally proving that they're not going to be pushed around. The future of China's semiconductor journey. So what does the future hold for China's semiconductor industry? Well, it's hard to say for sure. The global chip shortage has shown just how important these tiny components are. And the competition for dominance is only going to get fiercer. One thing's for sure. China is in it to win it. They've set their sights on becoming a global leader in semiconductors, and they're not going to stop until they get there. Whether they succeed or not remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure. This is a story that's far from over. Join the discussion. So what do you think? Is China on track to dominate the semiconductor industry? What are the implications for the rest of the world? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, tell us what other topics you'd like us to cover on the show. We're always looking for new and exciting stories to investigate. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious, and most importantly, stay tuned. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.